Welcome into the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Graham Miller, head coach of the women's soccer team. And Coach, uh, congratulations again on joining the ECAC tournament, hosting it. Uh, for, first game on Saturday was a pretty solid result, 5-0. Yeah, it was a great performance from the girls, you know, especially after the you know the disappointment of losing to Arcadia the week and a half before and, and not, you know, reaching our goal of getting into the NCAA tournament. So, you know, for the girls to, to pick up last week, had a really strong week of practices and really came out, you know, great against Chatham. I mean, we scored two goals in the first five minutes, mm-hmm. um, which set the tone for the game. You know, the girls... Um, you know, I was very, very impressed with the performance, and, and Chatham's a good team. Chatham, you know, they were 11-5-2 and two coming into it and, you know, had reached the semifinals of their conference, and so we knew it was going to be a difficult game, but we really, really played well at home, and I was very impressed with them on Saturday. And it was an all-around effort, you know, five goals going in and none for the bad guys, you know, you know Tiffany McKee yeah. keeping it out. Yeah, the defense did, and the defense has done a great job all year. You know, we've come up against some really good opponents, and probably apart from the Hopkins game, every other game, you know, the defense has really, you know, stayed strong. And, and Tiffany's, you know, been our only goalkeeper, you know, all season with the injury to Alexis. So, you know, Tiffany's, you know, every practice, every game, and you know, every warm up, and, and she had another, you know, shutout, which was a career best seven uh, on the season. So, really happy for Tiffany, and, and you know, to get that shutout in the defense to, to come up strong again. And it's tough to play back-to-back days, and then Grove City is a pretty strong team as well. Um, you know, fallen three to one, but it was a pretty goal that Alexis had there. Yeah, it was, and you know, we I, I, we just didn't start well. You know, it was the, the big difference from the Saturday game to the Sunday game. You know, we we didn't start well. We gave them an early goal, and then they got another one, and you know, two nothing down. But we didn't give up. Mm-hmm. And and you're right, it was a very very nice goal by our senior, you know, Alexis say Jack, and you know, great finish to keep us in the game. And and at halftime, we did believe that we could you know come back and win mm-hmm. the game, and we just couldn't create enough opportunities to to, to tie the game up. And and you know, when you're pushing forward, you know, they got the third goal just because we were committing players you know up the field and, and that happens sometimes but you know we gave it a go and against a very good Grove City team who I think will do well this weekend and the, the final championships for the ECACs and you know we've we we definitely can compete with them and, and we know we can compete with them and beat them on a different day. Now let's talk about those seniors you know uh, playing for four years at in a college or college sport is difficult to do yeah the three uh, you know we had the three players you know Alexis Sajak uh, like we just mentioned um, Jordan Pareto um, who wasn't able to play this weekend um, due to having a uh, surgery and then Jessica Demko who played a little bit this weekend and, and all four of those uh, all three of those girls have really um, you know given a lot for the program on and off the field you mm-hmm. know I always you know don't look at the seniors at what they contributed on the field but what did they do for the program mm-hmm. and you know they all came to every practice they all worked hard they all you know followed the rules they all were you know great ambassadors for the Stevenson you know women's soccer program and I'm I'm proud of all three of them and you know I I know they're going to go on to great things another point to be proud of seven all-conference selections yeah, with the seven players, you know, two of them were the seniors, so we still have five that will be coming back next year. Um, so we have a lot of optimism for next year. I mean, the the girls know that we didn't quite fulfill the potential that we sh- we could have this year, and, and getting to the, maybe the conference final and, and having a shot at the NCAA tournament. So we've got a lot to um, a lot of work, a lot of things to work on, but the potential is there, and that's what it is right now. It's potential. You know, we have five conference players coming back, all conference players coming back. We have you know plenty of other players coming back who mm-hmm. will be hungry to get more playing time. And, and then we're also recruiting. You know, we're looking for the best recruits like we do every year to come in and, and help our program reach that next level of being in the NCAA tournament. So I am very optimistic for next year, and, and there is a lot of potential, and it's up to those players, you know, to do the work in the offseason to be ready for next year. And competition in the offseason for positions and playtime could be good for uh next season yeah well we're going to challenge the players you know we really uh, some of these players need to step up and really challenge and challenge for playing time and challenge for the spot on the team and and not feel like they're entitled to a spot on you know on the starting 11 they've got to earn it and uh they got to fight for it and and i'm expecting a lot of competition a lot of players to really step up over this next year well coach we appreciate your time this week and every week that you've been up here with us and congratulations on the ecac bid and, and, you know, Joe, it's been great. You know, we do have a lot to be proud of. You know, we did finish third in the conference. We have a winning record, you know, made the ACAC tournament, um, you know, beat a nationally ranked mm-hmm. opponent um, and had those seven all-conference players. So we have a lot to be proud of, and I appreciate you guys always taking the time to, uh, you know, make this, you know, interview. So no it's, been, it's been great to promote the program. 
He's Graham Miller. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner.